All right, back with another tier rankings, power rankings type uh, show. You know how this works. Let's just get into it. Starting off with the Cincinnati Bengals who lost Joe Burrow. I had I had them in Super Bowl contenders. Uh, I think I'm going to move them all the way to plucky but bad. Uh, we still haven't seen them really without Joe Burrow in the Jake Browning era. We saw a little bit against Baltimore, but uh, there still is talent on this roster. But I'm not going to completely say that they're just bad. But yeah, I mean, Burrow means a lot to that team. You can't replace a guy like that. So that's where I have them. Uh, the Giants, Tommy DeVito. Look at what he was able to do. I still think they're a bad team. Uh, I think they just, you know, uh, Washington also might stink. And there were guys wide open in that game. Not taking too much from it. Uh, you could talk me into plucky but bad. But but that's where I have them for now. The Niners continue to be Super Bowl contenders. Big win against Tampa Bay. I mean, this is just what we expect, right? They went by 13 and we're like, yeah fine day by them like we're not even excited about it because of how good they are um the Saints who did not play uh, I believe I had them in maybe playoffs I'm going to keep them there the Bears Bears with Justin Fields I think without Justin Fields they're just bad but with Justin Fields I'm going to put them in plucky but bad you know they, they were plucky in this game exactly they were exactly plucky but bad they uh you know personified plucky but bad in this game of you know, looking good. Everyone thought they were going to win, but then still finding a way to lose. That is the definition of plucky but bad. The Packers win a game. I think I've had them in bad. I think I might have even had them in just bad at one point. I'll put them in mid. You know, uh, Jordan Love is playing better for sure. And that's something that's really exciting if you're a Packers fan because he's going to be there next year, right? You're going to have him for at least a bit. You want to see these improvements. There's no doubt about it, though. There's just there are some issues on this roster uh, as well. But you know, and let's be honest. I mean, the Chargers completely blew that game. Uh, but still, uh, you know, they were competitive. Found a way to win it when they had to. So good stuff by them. The Cardinals. The Cardinals of Kyler Murray. Maybe this is a hot take. I'm gonna bump them all the way up to mid. I think that they're mid because I think Kyler is very good. And they're, you know, it's one of those things where it's like they feel so devoid of talent without Kyler Murray, but all of a sudden he comes back and like you're like, oh, well, this guy can play. This guy, can, you know, like you start to notice the other guys because now they don't have to be superstars. They can just be an, a player in the offense. So I still think their defense isn't great despite the three turnover, three interception day against CJ Stroud, but still some nice stuff there. I don't know. Cardinals playing mid football right now. So there you go. Baltimore, you know, I took Baltimore out of the Super Bowl contenders tier, and, and that was a mistake. I, I shouldn't have t taken them out last week. They're still Super Bowl contenders. Yes, those dumb losses are annoying, but, I mean, they're still so good. And if this Odell Beckham Jr. thing is real, if he really is that good, um, that's pretty exciting. Uh, so, you know, if they have a number one receiver, this is easily a Super Bowl contender. And Kyle said something on the podcast, and I kind of agree if you just looked at how you played this season, Baltimore has been the best team in the AFC. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean they'll be the best team in the AFC come playoff time, but it's certainly a good sign that it could. So definitely Super Bowl contenders. Uh, you have the Cowboys, who I put in Super Bowl contenders last week. Nothing to change that. We're still kind of waiting on the other shoe to drop with Dak Prescott, right? He's, I mean, and his numbers weren't great in this game, but still, I didn't think he was like, bad or anything. But, like, we're still waiting for him to, like, have that Jared Goff performance today type thing, right? But so far, he's, he's still playing good football over the course of this season. The defense is just, you know, lighting uh, opposing offenses up. Uh, you know, Deron, Deron Bland can't stop getting pick sixes. I don't know how that will work in the playoffs, but I can't say for certain it won't work in the playoffs. So I'm going to give them a Super Bowl contenders uh, spot. The Buffalo Bills, the Bills are, uh, you know, they're still maybe playoffs. They looked great. Things were awesome, but they've had too many missteps and they've been too inconsistent this year for me to feel too much better about them. Their schedule is brutal down the way as well. I'm not really factoring that into the tier rankings, but, uh, you know, it is worth mentioning. The Chargers, Man, the Chargers are annoying. They're still mid. They're still mid. Justin Herbert's amazing, and he's why they're mid. Uh, that's pretty much it. They really worked to lose that game. Quentin Johnston, man, I don't know why that guy's having the year he's having. So can't, can't catch the football, it seems. Uh, defense is not good for the Chargers, but to have Justin Herbert, that puts them in mid. And the Broncos, I know people are very high on the Broncos train all of a sudden. I still have them as mid. Yes, the defense has played better uh, these past few weeks, and they've gotten 
takeaways, which is a big thing. I mean, you know, they won that game 3 nothing turnover uh, battle-wise, which is kind of why they won the game. Uh, you know, that was a big part of it. Yes, I know they beat the Bills as well, but really Buffalo should have probably won that game. So for Denver, they're winning games they probably shouldn't be winning, which is the first step to being a playoff team is you got to steal a game or two here. But I think I still want to see a little bit more and to have a you know big, big couple of games coming up. An opportunity to rise in the rankings, and they are rising. They are getting better. So well, I don't know if I'm going to put them in a higher tier right now. I think they have potential to get to a higher tier. So that's how I view them. The Lions, Lions have to be for sure playoffs, however. That, that feels like they are definitely that team because they're for sure playoffs. And honestly, they have a shot at the one seed. I still, I mean, you know, I've been a little bit hesitant to completely crown Jared Goff this season because I've still said, you know, we've seen bad Jared Goff pop up in the past. Bad Jared Goff popped up until it didn't, until late in the fourth quarter when he was perfect and they were able to win. I think the Bears stink, and I think that's not a game that you should be down 12 points uh, with you know four minutes left. But I do give them a lot of credit for rebounding and winning. They found a way to win, but just with the defensive concerns I have with uh, the Lions, we can't have games like that from Jared Goff. Yes, you can come back against Chicago. That way, you can't come back against you know Dallas if you meet them in the playoffs. You can't come back against Philadelphia if you meet them in the playoffs, and that happens. At least you shouldn't expect to. So uh, that's why I have them there. Chiefs, again, Super Bowl contenders. We know the Chiefs are Super Bowl contenders. Uh, they still got Patrick Mahomes. Yes, then they're still Super Bowl contenders. Uh, the Falcons, I think the Falcons are mid. Again, uh, they didn't play, so not too much to talk about with them. You have the Eagles, who are a you know Super Bowl contender, of course, still the best record in football. They play the Chiefs tonight, so uh, I'm going to make sure... I think I'm still going to, you know, regardless of who wins that game, keep them both in Super Bowl contenders. I don't know. Maybe if Kansas City gets blown out and their receivers look bad, maybe. But for now, that's where I have them. Um, the Browns are such a weird team. Um, the Browns are going to make the playoffs. Their record is going to make the playoffs. But I don't view this as like, it's not quite as in name, right? It's it's how do you, how do I feel about you as a team? And I think I'm going to put them in maybe playoffs. Uh, they're going to make the playoffs, I think. But that's how I feel about them as a team is they feel like, a, yeah, they could make the playoffs caliber of team because, I mean, it's just the quarterback play, right? The quarterback play is still so concerning. And while their defense is winning them football games, again, that can get you through the playoffs. But what can it do beyond that? That's why I've been low on the Browns all season and I continue to be low on the Browns, even though they, they're winning games and they are going to make the playoffs, I think. Um the Texans. Uh, I think the Texans are, you know, I'm in between for sure playoffs, however, and maybe playoffs. I think I'm going to go maybe playoffs. I don't think I can quite get them in the for sure playoffs just yet. I do think they make it though. CJ Stroud isn't playing perfect. And I think that's worth mentioning. I think people have kind of maybe jumped on the bandwagon and jumped on the hype train a bit quickly. Uh, he's playing he's playing amazing. He's really good. He's just not perfect, right? The MVP discussion. I get why it happened because of his numbers. All I'm saying is he's had his bad games as well. Uh, you know, he had the Carolina game. He did miss a lot of throws against Pittsburgh before uh, kind of taking over that game. And, you know, in this game, three interceptions, a couple of them, you know, one of them wasn't his fault, but a couple were ugly, but he's still doing so much well as well, right? And that's the flip side is all the good is fantastic. And that's what you like about him if you're a Texans fan. So uh, yeah, I think they'll get into the playoffs. I'll put them in maybe playoffs for now. Next up, we have the Colts, who uh, feel like kind of the definition of a mid team. Uh, you know, uh, they did not play this past week. I believe I had them in mid before, so going to keep them there. A lot of mediocre teams, it feels like, because the Rams, I think I'd put them in the plucky but bad tier in the past. I don't know. Uh, a big win. I'll, I'll bump them up to mid, right? Mid feels fair uh, for them. I mean, kind of, you know, got some injury luck, but still, a win is a win. Next up, we have the Miami Dolphins, who I'm going to put in the for sure playoffs. However, tier offense still looks a little weird. Feels like two is due for one or two like boneheaded decisions a game, and then he plays perfect from there on out. Uh, he had two turnovers in this one. Uh, it was one of those things where the Dolphins offense through three quarters, they, they had scored like, uh, I think they scored like 20 points. And they didn't punt the whole time, though. So it's like they never punted, and yet they still haven't been able to light up the scoreboard the way you would want to see them. So, uh, you know, they're very good. 
Tyreek Hill was out for a bit. I'm sure that affected things. The Raiders' defense has played well uh, and kept the Dolphins in that game. But I felt it was a game they could have put a, put it away and, and didn't. Um, the Vikings are interesting. Sorry, Vikings fans. I kind of still think you're mid. Uh, the defense is very good. And Dobbs is very inconsistent. And yes, you do have uh, Justin Jefferson coming back. But again, this is one of those games where it's like, I don't know how you can watch that game and feel great about Minnesota. I still think they'll make the playoffs because of their record. Uh, you know, and I do think, I just think that Kirk Cousins means a lot to that team. And I think that they're okay without him, but not uh, spectacular. So uh, mid feels right. Uh, man, one of these years, uh, one of these weeks, I'm going to have just every team in the mid tier, right? That's what I'm trying to do. Every team in the mid tier. That's my goal. The Patriots are not in the mid tier. They're just bad. Uh, they're a bad football team. The Jets, uh, I might not even keep them in. Or I, 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 I don't know. I'm putting them in just bad. I'm not even giving them plucky but bad at this point. Yes, their defense is their defense. But, I mean, when you're intentionally starting Tim Boyle at this point as your quarterback, you're a bad team. I mean, Tim Boyle is someone who, I mean, numbers over Tim Boyle's career have not been spectacular. So, uh, you know, Jets are, Jets are bad. The Panthers are bad. We know they're bad. Their worst record in football. Uh, you know, we're competitive against Dallas, so you're making some baby steps there, which is nice to see. Uh, we all know uh, Carolina's draft issue and all that stuff, but you know, staying staying competitive at the very least. Uh, you have the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Steelers who are, um, I think, uh, you know, I don't know, are they maybe playoffs or are they mid? I still, I think they're another mid team. Uh, a lot of mid teams uh, here, uh, which is, you know, kind of crazy, but again, it it feels right, right? Defense is very good. I don't think it's quite as good as Cleveland's, but it's very good. Uh, and then, you know, Kenny Pickett, I mean, he was a disaster against Cleveland. Like, there's no getting around it. He was a disaster. He's had better days, but, the, you know, I brought it up on the podcast, and I agree with myself, uh, which is that I feel like he, you know, his bad day looks terrible, and his good day he looks like a fine quarterback. He still doesn't look great on his good days. He just looks like a fine quarterback then. So it's like, what do you do with that? Um, I still think they're going to make the playoffs because they have an easy schedule. But yeah, I don't think they're a great team. Um, Seattle Seattle lost a disappointing game to the point where I can't put them in four short playoffs. However, I'm putting them in maybe playoffs because they keep dropping these stupid games. And they should have won that game, really. They should have. The, uh, you know... The Geno Smith injury, I think, hurt them a lot. But it's it was a game that they had won and they lost it. But they've had a couple of those and they just they haven't taken care of business. Now multiple losses to the Rams. I get it, bad matchup, whatever. You still gotta find ways to at least split this. If it's a bad matchup, split the series then against a team you're better than. Don't get swept because now you're in a tough spot and they legitimately might miss the playoffs. I know that seems crazy to think, but their next four weeks are brutal. They're playing contenders each of the next four weeks. Uh, so they have to find a way to at least win one, probably have to win two of those, though. We'll see if they can do that. Um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, well, I was going to put them in the maybe playoffs uh, tier, uh, and, but now I'm kind of comparing them. It's like, oh, they're not better than Minnesota. They're not better than Pittsburgh. So I guess, are we going with another uh, mid-tier team, or do I have to maybe uh, rethink who I put in the mid to maybe put uh, a couple of teams back up into the uh, maybe playoffs tier. No, no, I've already put them in the tier. They have to stay in the tier. Buccaneers are also mid. Every team is mid this year. Um, I don't know. I think mid is fine, right? Like there's still so much offensive issues with this team. The coaching is, we know the coaching is the coaching and the defense still hasn't been great this year. It's had great moments, but it hasn't been consistently great. So Mid at you, I think is I think that's fair. Uh, I think I'm a Tampa Bay fan, so I want to put them in maybe playoffs. But no, like they're not they're not with those five teams. Like they're not on that level. They're they're a tier below. Um, the Raiders are get this a mid tier team uh, as well. Defense has played well. You know I don't know how much we trust Aiden O'Connell, but he's he's shown some things, and then he's had some bad moments as well. Been very uh very much like a rookie quarterback, kind of what you'd expect out of Aiden O'Connell, which isn't terrible, but. I don't know if he's a guy who's you're going to feel great about giving another year to, given how he's playing now. But, you know, I don't know. Could, you know still time left. Could get better. Max Crosby's awesome. Um, the Titans are not good. I'll put them in plucky. There's still some, you know, Titans magic that goes on there. But, I mean, right now they're not playing plucky. Right now they're just getting crushed. 
Uh, and, you know, teams have figured out if you blitz Will Levis, it's game over. Uh, so, you know, Titans have to figure something out. Washington, another team that I'm going to put in the, uh, you know, plucky but bad tier at this point. I mean, you can't lose to the Giants. Can't lose to the Giants, and they always lose to the Giants. So you keep losing to the Giants, you're going to, you know, go down a tier. Sam Howell has those occasional games where he just can't stop turning the ball over. And I think he's played relatively well this season, but still, so you can't have that. I don't know. Uh, that's a tough one there. And then Jacksonville, another for sure playoffs, however, tier team. So, uh, you know, at least we get a, a little bit more here. You know, you know, very good. They've had their down weeks, but still. They cover great. Trevor Lawrence has been great. And Calvin Ridley, uh, make, being a part of this offense, maybe they can find a way to get up into the Super Bowl contenders tier. Plenty of time left in the season. But as of right now, I am not too optimistic about a lot of teams, as you can tell. I mean, what? I have only eight teams, I'm willing to say, are for sure playoff caliber teams. Uh, we didn't have another five that I feel like are like maybe playoffs. So if this all holds, that's only 13 teams here meaning one of the teams that I think is mid would make the playoffs. And I, I do think that, you know, the teams that are closest to jumping up a tier, I would say are probably Minnesota, Pittsburgh, and I think you could even throw um, Denver in uh, on the mix, teams that I feel like are close to jumping up a tier, and Tampa Bay maybe as well. But those other teams, I think, are closer to jumping up. So there's hope there. But as a whole, yeah, I just think that, I don't know, kind of a weird year. I feel like there isn't quite as many good teams as we are used to uh, seeing. So a lot of mid teams. Uh, that's kind of how I view it right now. But yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.